Um, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Meng Yuan Li. I'm honored and proud to have the opportunity to speak in this meeting. The title of our paper is When CSI Meets Public Wi-Fi, Inferior Mobile Phone Password Where Wi-Fi Signals. This work is done by Meng Yuan Li, Yan Meng, Jun Yi Liu, Professor Hao Jin Zhu, Professor Na Ren from Shanghai Jiao Tong University, Professor Xiao Hui Liang from University of Massachusetts at Boston, and Professor Yao Liu from University of South Florida. I would like to begin with the research background. Nowadays, smart mobile devices are everywhere. Smartphones, tablets, and many other smart devices have become an indispensable part of our daily life. At the same time, Mobile payments is in fashion, such as Alipay, WeChat Pay, and many other online bank APPs. With the help of, with the help of those online payments, people are able to be free from cash or credit cards. Going out with only a mobile phone is enough. Those online payments function including the quick pay in markets, money transfer to their friends, and many other online payments such as game payments. Take Alipay as an example. In year 2015, um, it has more than 900 million users, and uh, per day it will have 100 million transactions. The sum of 2050, it has $1 trillion transactions. So how to keep online payments secure is really important. There are many three ways in industry to help protect online payments. The first way is encrypted transaction. All transmission between user and the server is encrypted by TLS and SSL. Because this encrypted transmission, even a malicious hot Wi-Fi hotspot cannot steal the user's password where analyze network traffic. The second is a six-digit password. For Alipay, WeChat, and many other online bank APPs, a six-digit password is required every time people buy something online or transfer money to their friends. So this can make sure that user's money is safe even if the user lost his phones. The third is a limited password attempt times. Mm, too many wrong passwords will lead to a count lock. Combining those three methods, mobile payments was regarded a secure enough way to protect money transfer online. However, if someone can steal the password in this process, the whole process becomes dangerous. We began to wonder what we can do to steal the password. Because the encrypted transmission, steal password where analyze traffic seems impossible. Then we focus on key stroker inference methods. There are many key stroker inference methods, including those methods in CCS, and, uh, but, 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 but unfortunately, their assumption cannot hold in mobile payment scenario. Then in our paper, we propose a Wi-Fi-based method named the Wind Talker. Specifically, it uses channel state information from Wi-Fi to achieve the goal. So what is channel state information? Channel state information was the channel frequency response of wireless signals. It represents the state of wireless channel in a signal transmission process. Since CSI reflects the state of its transmission channel, CSI's value will change when the surrounding changes or some objects moving in the signals, or in the, in the surroundings. For Wi-Fi, CSI can be calculated in receiver where methods introduced in Wi-Fi standards like IEEE 802.11n and AC. Using these properties, CSI-based approach has many advantages. It can be device-free and can be achieved by commercial devices. There are many exciting the existing paper using CSI in different applications, such as centimeter level localization, person identification, activity recognition, and the key stroke recognition. Ali ETO proposed a system called Wiki in Mobicom 2050. Assuring the picture that Wiki tries to distinguish different keystrokes, different inference on CSI on an external keyboard. The performance of Wiki proves the possibility of using CSI to identify different keystrokes in external keyboard is possible. However, can existing work be applied to infer payment password in mobile devices? 
there are some fatal shortcomings. The first one is for CSI based recognition application. It all need a sender and a receiver Wi-Fi devices which cannot, can hardly be achieved in reality. The second is for keystroke inference methods. Those in keystroke inference methods usually just recognize their input, but they have no idea what the input is. Maybe someone is sending a message or inputting a password, but they have no idea what it is. So in our paper, we present WinTalker, a novel keystroke inference framework towards smartphones through Wi-Fi channel state information. It has some features such as it only need one device to attack, no requirements of victim location between two Wi-Fi devices. They can identify the sensitive input time windows by considering the SSI traffic and the CSI follow together. It can successfully attack Alipay, the most popular mobile payment system in the world on several smartphones. This is the outline of our presentation. We will first discuss the motivation part and then we will introduce with talkers attack scenario as well as system design. Then we will show how we talk performance in evaluation part and followed by a case study. In the end, we will conclude our paper. Let's start here with the motivation part. We first change the CSI collection methods to get valid CSI data. As shown in the picture, the previous out of band keystroke inference model cannot work well in, in, in reality. It needs to deploy two Wi Fi devices, and uh, the distance is too short, like 13 centimeters. Moreover, the targets should be placed right between those two devices. However, in our paper, we present an in band keystroke model. This model can solve all these limitations. More concretely, we release a few Wi-Fi hotspots to attract a user to log in. After the connection was established, the connected smart devices become a victim for potential password leakage. Need to note that uh, since the hand motion is right between the transmission channel of the smart devices antenna and uh, the Wi-Fi hotspots, all motions of hand during type will have a diff direct and uh, and direct inference on CSI. Able to get valid really CSI, we began to wonder what factors may influence CSI during typing mobile devices. We can first recall a common case in our daily life that when we make a phone call, the phone call quality will be influenced by your hand positions. Just like phone call signals, Wi-Fi signals also have a similar condition. As shown in the picture, when used type in soft keyboard, their hand coverage and the finger motions are two factors in French CSI. Different hand coverage and the finger motion, such as finger click, will cause different and unique CSI change. Let's first show how these factors influence CSI. This picture here shows a CSI stream when continuous pressing different number in a mobile phone from one to nine followed by zero each for five times. When type different numbers, the hand coverage will change. When we continue types the same number, finger will click. In this figure, it can be seen that the different coverage when type different numbers lead to different fluctuation range of the CSI value. When we magnify the CSI change in that figure, in that figure experiment shows that the finger click has a more direct influence on CSI since it uh, will introduce some sharp convex, which which corresponds to the quick clicks inference on multipath propagation. We can find that finger clicks click in same number are similar, while CSI shape in different finger number in different key number differ a lot. The experiment shows hand coverage and the finger motion will have a unique pattern for different key strokers. Using CSI to infer use key stroke in mobile devices seems possible. Then we will introduce how our system wind talkers steal users' online payment password by CSI. We will first introduce wind talkers attack scenario, which includes the device it need and the attack scenario. The picture here shows a real world attack scenario in a cafe shop. Attacker first hide a computer and then release a failed Wi Fi. The victim finds our failed Wi Fi and maybe connected to it. Then WinTalker works quietly. It records the CSI between mobile phone and uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot. Beyond that, it, it will also record some traffic data. 
We use the Intel 5300 network interface card, which was $5, to collect the CSI streams, and uh, the antenna we use is TDJ2400BKC. It is a directional antenna and works in 2.4 GHz and uh, was $20. The total cost of our devices, I except a normal computer, is only $25, which means that WindTalker is really a cheap attacker. Then let's see how WindTalker works, and this is WindTalker's system design. In order to make the whole system comprehensive, we need to handle four challenges. The first challenge is how to enforce victims' devices to be a Wi Fi sender. The second challenge is how to locate CSI segments caused by password input. The third is how to reduce noise in CSI data, and the last one is how to infer password using CSI. Our system, WinTalker, put forward four modules to handle these four challenges. It was CSI collection module, sensitive input module, data processing module, and the password inference module. Let's begin with phase the first challenge, how to enforce victims' devices to be a Wi-Fi sender. We introduce CSI collection model. So how to collect CSI from victim? CSI is extracted from Wi-Fi packages printments. If we want to obtain CSI, what we need to do is obtaining enough Wi-Fi package. We use ICMP protocol in our model to achieve it. We send Victims' devices an uh, ICMP request and receive the ICMP re reply from the phone. We also adjust the ICMP rate to about 800 packets per second, and, that, and after that, we can get uh, CSI data of 800 hertz. Note that all operation can be done without victims' awareness, since it will only cost a little network traffic, about 70 KB per second. After that, the second challenge is how to locate the CSI segments generated by password input. We introduce our sensitive input module. Previous case stalker inference works usually ignore what the content they are inferring or even don't know whether the user is used a PIN keyboard or QWERTY keyboard. In our work, we make full use of our role as a malicious Wi-Fi hotspot and uh, use sensitive input module to focus on online payment password. We make the whole system more efficient. We construct this model based on the following observation, that when you log in an online payment platform, the phone will connect it to payment server. The server's IP address can be used to indicate an ongoing payment. Then we collected some popular payment platform's IP address as a sensitive pool and uh, use this sensitive IP pool to de determine the started and the end time of uh, online payment. The third module, data processing module, this module was designed to remove the noise in CSI stream. We first use directional antenna to remove the noise caused by other people's moving the, in the public place. In our experiments with two additional people moving around, we can see from the left picture, when we use Omni antenna, the CSI waveform was dizzy and one cannot see any CSI kiss jokers. If we use direction antenna, the result was more obvious. Then we use some sig signal processing method, including use a low pass filter to remove the most burst noise, and then we handle all 30 CSI stream by dimension reduction using PCA. We can see the results in the figure below. After choosing suitable PCA components, the key structure waveform was more distinguishable. Then comes the last module, password inference module. This module can be divided into key stroker extraction and the key stroker recognition. Well, the rest of the thing is easy to understand. We first extracted waveform change caused by key stroker. For CSI PCA waveforms, we adopt another filter to make the waveform more smooth, and we divided the waveform into many small segments and calculate each segment's variance. The segments containing the key stroker usually have a high variance. Then after setting a threshold and, um, and make some adjustments, we choose the suitable started and end point of each key strokers. The last thing left is to recognize key stroker. Then we compare the waveform with per collected training data with uh, uh, our testing data to see 
what the case shock is. We use dynamic time wiping to measure the similarity between training data and, per and the testing data. As shown in the figure, simple of same case shocker will have a shorter distance, while different case shocker will have larger distance. According to dynamic time wiping results, we can achieve password inference. Then let's see how wind talkers performance. We first focus on classification between different numbers. Is CSI pattern caused by different key numbers large enough to distinguish them? Here, we collected training and testing data from 10 volunteers in three types of form. Each volunteer first generated 10 lobs of data, where lob is defined as typing key number from 0 to 9. After that, we invalidated the classification accuracy of wind talker, so those collected data. The classification accuracy is invalidated in terms of cost validation accuracy. Each time we pick up one lob for testing and the other nine lobs for training. The figure here shows a range of accuracy of all 10 volunteers in 10 pin numbers. We perform the evaluation on Samsung Note 5, Xiaomi, Redmi Note 3, and Nexus 5. When talk achieve a range accuracy of 82, 73 percentage, and 64 percentage. Here, then we focus, we concentrated on inferring a six digit pin password. A six digit pin password is a fixed password format for Alipay, WeChat Pay, and many other online bank APPs. We give some possible password candidates sorted by possibility and uh, investigate how many candidates can help WinTalker to write hit the payment password. For example, if a victim type password 123456, after typing, when talker are able to give a candidate's list, maybe like this. In, in this candidate's list, the third possible candidates can match the correct password. Using three lobs for training 200 passwords from 10 volunteers, in our experiment, if we give 20 candidates, we can hit 50% right password, and if we give 100 candidates, even 80% pa password can be identified. We continue to do some other experiments about uh, inference vectors towards wind talker. We change the distance between mobile devices and Wi-Fi hotspots. We can find that the accuracy is getting down as the distance is grows, but WindTalker can still achieve a high recovery rate even if the distance grows to 1.5 meters. We then change the direction between mobile phone and Wi-Fi hotspots. Because we do experiments, uh, the volunteer used their right hand. So when the antenna was placed in the left side, the accuracy is most high. But the accuracy in other directions is still acceptable even if the antenna was placed right behind the victim's back. This can be hard achieved by other keystroke inference methods and it's difficult for victim itself to detect the attacker. Now we introduce a real case study towards Alipay and perform a vid video demo to help you better understand how WinTalker works. The first part is collected some training data. In this experiment, we only c collected one lob of training data.
Well, in this case, the third candidate can match the right, uh, right uh, password. Yes, problem. So the case study towards Alipay include the 10 password test. The results shows if we give 50 candidates, seven password can be right identified. Finally, we conclude our work by introduce the limitation, countermeasure, and the conclusion. Wind talker have three limitations. The first limitation is hardware limitation. In the experiment, we use Intel 5300NIC to collect CSI data. It's a cheap device which only was $5, but it will crash sometimes. The reason why it crash is because some problem in its drivers. But if we want to fix it, we need to cooperate with the entire company. The second limitation is the fixed typing gesture. Too quick type or strange hand motion or disturbance nearby such as you type near a USB fines, then wind talk will not work very well. The third limitation is user specific training. In the real world experiment, it's hard to adapt others training data to, to use the in wind talker to infer the password. But we, in the paper, we introduced some several methods, include the text captions and the plan contact analyze to handle this limitation. Need to know, note that the last two limitations are a common assumption for those set channel based case shock inference attacker. There are also some count measures, such as the random layout of keyboard after every click, or change the typing gesture by victim itself, although it sounds strange. The last countermeasure can, can be done by preventing the collection of CS data, CSI data in CSI collection module. Then we make a conclusion. We present Wind Talker an interesting attack that using physical law information to attack application in the upper law. It's acceptable, it's, it's accepted, expected to have a broad potential application for password inference in mobile devices. Encrypted traffic analyze plus CSI analyze should be cool in the future. The future work is mainly about that in our work, the CSI collection model is not reliable sometimes, so we may try to use USRP to enhance it. Thank you for your listening. I'm ready to take some questions now.